Let's start with default camera controls inside 3D code. So if I press left mouse button, I'll start to rotate. If I press middle mouse button, I'll start to pan. And if I press right mouse and I drag it, drag the mouse, I will start to zoom. However, if you have your cursor with a brush hovering over the object and I start pressing right mouse button, it will not be zooming, it will be changing the brush, brush radius. So what you need to do is you need to press Alt to zoom in, press Alt and left click uh, to rotate. And I tend also to do alt, alt middle mouse just because I'm using Alt so much that I'm always just pressing it out of the habit. If I go and hover over the camera button over there, it will show me the hotkeys for the controls. And if I click on it, I can pick different custom schemes. We are pretty much looking at 3D code, Maya and ZBrush. So Maya and 3D code pretty much the same. And I would, I would recommend against using Maya controls because the zoom starts to lose maneuverability, starts to really jiggle. So just stick to 3D code. And if, say, you're coming from other softwares, you kind of have to learn Maya controls or, well, maybe use ZBrush controls. So when I rotate, I press Alt and uh, left mouse button to drag. And then if I press Shift, it will snap, snap, and snap. If I want then to go into that orthogonal mode, I press 5 on the numpad. If you don't have a numpad, and most of the modern laptops don't have them, you have to go into the view panel and go into the orthographic projection, and essentially follow the instructions to change the hotkey. You can also manipulate snapping, so it doesn't have to be only to the top left, right, and such. You can go into the camera snapping controls and play around with these settings. Sometimes I find it to be quite useful and I use them, but quite often I don't. You can customize navigation if you go into the customize navigation button and it gives you some pretty crazy menu. Once I spent a couple hours trying to get some rolling uh, motion uh, so I could roll the object in the way I wanted to, and it's really a separate topic to talk about, and usually it's not really even needed in everyday modeling. And we have a quite an interesting tool inside here. If I press the control up, it will remember the camera position. Say so I move the camera, press control up, move the camera again. Then if I press control right arrow, it will jump between the positions. So if you're doing, say, an environment, you have a inside the house, outside the house, in a forest, in a pile of rocks, you can quickly cycle through the camera views and do your editing on the fly. Other options here, they're pretty much self-explanatory, right? So I usually rotate around the last drop point and everything else, you know, you read it and you get it. And if you don't get it, just press the button and try to see how it starts to navigate. If I go up and activate that menu, I can then change the field of view. The field of view here is at 50 right now. It's the same as ZBrush. And if I go up, it will give me this mobile wide angle shot, which are more used for presentations. And if you could go in the opposite direction, it will become pretty much an orthographic view. What I want to do is I just want to right click on this guy to set it back to 50. And I want to press F to frame the object. I can change the F hotkey if you need, if I hover over that frame button at the top. I will talk about functionalities of the viewport and viewport backgrounds and shading in another video, so stay tuned and see you there.